What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwid and I am back again today bringing you guys another Madden 25 Ultimate Team video. And today guys, I am going to be showing you an unstoppable Nano Blitz. Now, this is something that I normally would not provide because it, you know, this isn't the type of gameplay that I like to do. I kind of think that it's complete BS. But this is actually something that happened to me in a head-to-head -head seasons game last night. I've been kind of just messing around playing some head-to-head -head seasons games toward the end of Madden 25 at this point. I don't really need the coins, but I'm just kind of doing it for fun to test out my skills and that kind of thing to keep myself sharp for pink slips and wager games and things like that. But I got into a game with this guy and it was like the first or the second play of the game. He hit me in the backfield faster than I've ever been hit in the backfield. And I was like, what the hell just happened? So to test it out, I ended up running the exact same play and the same thing happened. And I was just astonished because I had never even been hit in the backfield like that, any, anywhere near like that. So I started to, you know, get really frustrated <laughs> and uh, I, I really wasn't able to move the ball against this guy because, you know, I couldn't run the ball really hardly at all. Uh, I could pass somewhat but it was really, really tough to run the ball. And this is what he was doing. Check out Night Train Lane, his free safety. Did you see how quickly he just got through that line? Now, on this play here, I actually broke it for a big game because he didn't time it correctly. But watch this. This is a slowed down version of the play you just saw. Watch that free safety between the center and the right guard. Look how quickly he's shooting through that A gap. He almost hit me before I handed the ball off. That's how fast he's getting through. Now, watch this again because he's going to line it up again here. And as you saw on uh, before that first play started, he's actually going off sides sometimes. That's how close he's getting to the defensive line or to the offensive line. And it happened time and time again. This is the buck sweep here. So I'm going to show you that it, it wasn't just happening on one run where he was somehow exploiting it. No, this was happening every single time I tried to run the ball he was doing this he was user controlling his free safety it looked like it was out of like a nickel 155 prowl or something like that uh, that's the defense that I'd recognized anyway because he only had one guy actually lined up on the defensive line and he would basically drop everybody else into coverage so look at that he has everybody else in coverage now there you're gonna see that I actually beat it deep with a pass to my tight end and here I'm going to actually beat it with a run. So I'm going to show you that there were times where I was able to, to beat it. But the problem is, is that he was able to get through so often. And it was even happening sometimes on pass plays where, you know, he was blitzing me. And I wasn't even able to throw the ball. Like, I, my, I wasn't even able to, like, do a play action or anything like that. Because he was hitting me in the backfield before I could even hand the ball off. And unfortunately, I wasn't recording this whole game. So you're not going to get the full gameplay footage. Uh, I only started to record it once he went off sides a couple of times. But check out this play that just happened. Because I want you to, again to see how quickly he's getting through. That was the slow motion. This is the full speed. This is how fast I was getting hit. And, and just check it out. Look at that. I can't even hand the ball off. That was supposed to be a handoff to the right side. He hit me before I took one step. He was just shooting through my defense or my offensive line so easily. This is the guy who is doing it. And I'm not trying to really call him out, to be honest with you. I, I, I'm more trying to give him credit because, I mean, obviously he's figured out one of the cheesiest plays that I've ever seen. And uh, I don't really have an answer for it. I don't know what to tell you guys. Uh, I don't really know what to say in order to stop it because I was trying everything. I was pinching my offensive line, assuming that maybe, you know, uh, if, if I pinched that my center and my right guard would react a little bit better and they would hit the guy as he tried to get through. That didn't work at all. I was trying to uh, shift them to the left, shift them to the right, uh, trying to, you know, tell them to be aggressive on their blocks. It, none of it worked. It was He was getting through so easily that there was literally nothing that I could do with running the ball. I, ha, I mean, I, I guess I could have passed every play, but by that time, I was already down two scores. And, uh, you know, obviously, you guys know if you've watched my, my gameplay footage before, uh, I prefer to set up my passes if I'm going to do them by running the ball and causing the defense to kind of get out of position. And then I try and beat them deep or I try to beat them with like a corner out to a tight end and things like that. That was not happening against this guy because he had that uh, that prowl 
battle defense, like I said. And what would happen is sometimes he would try and pass rush me if I did a pass. So he would he would pass rush with the guy that he was nano blitzing with, and occasionally he would get through. And there again, like I said, there really wasn't anything I could do. Or sometimes he would end up actually, you know, realizing that I was going to actually pass and he would drop his guy into coverage. So what was happening is he had 10 guys in coverage. So if I tried to pass, it was against 10 guys on the defense, and he only had one pass rusher, of course, so I guess I could have potentially maybe scrambled with my quarterback a little bit more than I did. I'm just trying to think, you know, what what is the best case scenario for me? I mean, he was running basically the perfect defense because if I tried to run, he was nano blitzing me and killing me in the backfield every time. And if I tried to pass, he had 10 guys in coverage. So I don't have any idea what to do. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of people in the comment section that have suggestions. And, uh, you know, maybe if you guys are on PS4, you could send this guy a friend request and, uh, you know, ask to, to play him. I would love to see you guys play against him. I'm not trying to say that this guy's the best player in the world or anything like that. But, um, you know, I would love to see what you can do to stop this because I, I had no answer for an entire game. I didn't put any points on the board. Um, you know, I, I got down to, you know, close to their end zone, but then I threw an interception. So, you know, it, it was, it, the game was closer than the 14 to zero score would indicate. But at the same time, you know, like I said, it was so frustrating. I, I really just had no answer for anything that he wanted to do on defense. And uh, I've never been blitzed like this. I've been told by numerous people who are very, very good at Madden that these type of blitzes don't exist in this game. And like I said, maybe I'm doing something wrong, and I'm sure my friend Steven or VY Electrify, if you guys are uh, fans of his on YouTube, uh, I'm sure he'll be laughing at me and telling me, okay, Nick, here's all you needed to do to stop it, and I'm sure it's probably something stupid. But from my purposes, as somebody who's not an expert Madden player, I'm, I'm aight. Um, <laughs> they're really, uh, to me, there really wasn't anything that I could do. A at least not when I ran the ball. I, I ran a couple of screen passes, and that somewhat was effective, but... For the most part, that that ten guys in coverage and the one guy nano blitzing on the, against the run, it, it was brutal. Uh, you know, you'd normally assume that if somebody drops ten guys into coverage, that you're going to be able to run on them. That was not the case. So, with that being said, guys, uh, like I said, uh, I wish that I could have had better gameplay footage for you here because I, I really didn't start recording it until the fourth quarter had started already. But you know, you guys get the gist of it. This was happening to me basically 90% of the plays when I ran the ball. There was, you know, the other 10% I did break for a decent gain, but it really wasn't effective enough because I was already, you know, at third and 18 by the time that I was able to break any sort of a run. And, uh, you know, that sucks. So what it is what it is, I guess. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, press that like button below. And again, leave a comment if you guys have any suggestions on how to stop this. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.